apple pie. It's a no-brainer. That's got to be the dessert. But not any apple pie, right? This is Paul Merritt's very first ever apple pie. This book here um, was my cookery book in, in the only year of cookery I ever did at school when I was about, I don't know, nine, ten years old, something like that. Mrs Page taught me cooking. And inside, I noticed, was a recipe for apple tart. And when I looked at it, it's actually not an apple tart, it's an apple pie, so we got the title wrong, that's for a start. But really, it is comfort food, it's really simple. So, I'm gonna start off with the apples. Now, you don't really need to cook the fruit for the base of a pie, or indeed a crumble, but I, I actually do like to cook it a little bit first because I find that otherwise, you get a lot of moisture come out of the fruit and it sort of imbalances, it makes it too wet. These are Bramley apples, cooking apples, and they definitely, definitely work best for an apple pie. Right, I'm gonna dice these up like that. So as I recall, school cooking at junior school was one of the things that I enjoyed most. I really enjoyed it. And I, what I really liked more than the cooking itself was the sort of applause that I would get at home when I produced my, <laughs> my, <laughs> my wares. And I still get that. Right, okay, pan on. And I'm gonna throw the apples in, into the pan. Right, apples are in. Give them a bit of a wiggle about. Let them get to the heat. There we go. Now, at the moment, all we've got is very wincingly sharp brown apples, so we need to sweeten it up. Demerara sugar, that's the one I like best. Sprinkle some of that in quite a bit. Right, spices. My two favourite, a ground mix spice, which I'm gonna throw in about, what's that? If I was writing a recipe book, I'd call that three pinches. We call that three pinches. Uh, and cinnamon is one of my very, very favourite spices. Give it a stir around. There we go. Right, we'll let that cook slowly. Now, I tend to use a shop-bought pastry at home, um, which is a, is a terrible admittance, possibly, but it's the truth. A little bit of flour on the board and turn the pastry over. So this is sweet pastry. Um, a lot of apple pies actually call for short crust pastry, which is unsweetened. Um, and you could use puff pastry as well. Actually, I think Mrs Page might have quite, been quite impressed that I'm still using her recipes after all these years. One very funny story that I can remember when I was much younger was getting the cooking bug. And I can remember going home and thinking, my parents were out, I'll make some rock buns. That's what I'll do, that'll be a good idea. And uh, making the rock bun mix and it was, it was all up my arms, it was all over my clothes, it was on the floor, it was on the table, it was a real, real mess. The only thing I can do is grab all this and get rid of it, bury the evidence, threw it on top of the garage roof. Uh, completely forgot that our garage was viewed from a window as you went up the stairs. So obviously my mum's come home, gone up the stairs. Why is there half a kilo of rock bun mix on our garage roof? And uh, to this day, she's probably still clearing up bits of rock bun from her garage roof. Right. OK, I'm going to put the top on there. We actually need a couple of strips of pastry as well, and I'll show you why. But I want to leave enough pastry for the topping. There we go. The thinner you roll your pastry, the more difficult it's going to be to work with. So if you feel at all unsure about pastry, keep it a little bit thicker so it's just a little bit easier to use. Now I'm going to paint that strip down there like that. And same with that one, like that. That's just milk in there. And we're going to put this around the edge. And what this does is it makes it much, much easier to stick topping onto the edge of the dish if it's already got a little bit of pastry there. So just work that out, that's great. And then that one around there. And that milk is just, it's, it's the glue, basically, that sticks the pastry to the dish. There we go, let's put that over there. The last thing we're gonna to add to that is sultanas. I'm just gonna take a handful of those and sprinkle them in. There we are. And then the apple is soft, it's cooked, but it just needs final stir and, and just a little bit of cooling before we put the lid on. So I'm going to turn it off. Now, I'm going to take some of our apple mix 
and we're going to put it into the pie dish. There we go. Okay, good. So, it's starting to look a little bit like an apple pie now. I'm just going to roll this up. There we go. Put the pie dish down. Bit of milk around the edge, like that. Which, again, just helps pastry stick to pastry. And then we're just going to roll that over the top of the pie. Cut around like that. This is real pudding material, I think. Now, we've got the top on, but we need to seal it. And the way I do that is to hold my two finger, my thumb and my forefinger like that, and put it there and push the pastry into it. And you just work all the way around. And what that's doing is it's pushing the seal where the two pastries meet together. And it also actually looks quite nice around the edge to have that little bit of crimping, I suppose you'd call it. And then the only thing that needs to happen now before it goes in the oven is a little bit more milk on the top. You could use egg yolk for this if you wanted, but I, I actually think milk works better. A little bit of milk and then lots of caster sugar. There we go. There's the caster sugar. And just sort of sprinkle it liberally all over. It, it does want a lot. It gives a lovely crunch. It's quite a pleasing top to a pie, I think. There you go. Right. You need an oven on at 200 degrees, which I've got. You need some ice cream in your freezer, which I've got. And you are about 15 minutes away from pudding heaven. After about 15 minutes, you should have, and we do have, a pretty handsome looking pie. There you go. Look at that. That. It smells fantastic, it really does. Right, things like this don't last long in our house and we have to be very careful about how we cut it, right? Because all of us will sit there and go, he's got more than I have. So you have to, the cutting's crucial. I'm gonna take the top off. Look at that, that that's, that's really, that's really good. Mrs Page will be proud of me. This is turning into one of my all-time meals, this. We'll serve that with ice cream. What more could you want? Maybe the two Ronnies and an early night, but that's it.